So guys, you have your whiteboards, and here's how we're going to do it this time. I'm going to give you a player, and before I show you what PFF graded them, I want to know what you would have graded said player. These are only major guys, no my new guys who only played 15, 20 snaps. But let's start with <laughs> JOK. What would you guys give JOK oh. for his performance against the Denver Broncos? A 90.6, an 83 from Jay. Because they're, they're always, I would give him a 90. No, that's what he's, that's the question. I'm guessing what he, Bull, we're guessing what they gave him. What, 82, yeah, he did, what they he gave did him. get uh, he got, a couple times in the run. He, was, got, he, did, he did yeah. overcome Wait a, a couple minute. times. So. I thought you said it's what we, well, what we thought. No, I would give him a 90. No, 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 I'm no, guessing no, no. PFF give, gives him an 85. Oh, wait, I, I want you to grade to do what you we, would grade them. Okay. No, oh, what okay. you would personally okay. grade them. Oh, okay. I would give him a 90. Oh, okay. You would grade J.O.K. Okay. Oh, we right, dude. I give him an 82.7. I thought it was his best game. 90, 91. Boy, you said 87 now? 82.7. 82.7. We're actually going to give a point to the person who gets closest here. This is even a game, but we're going to make it a game. Okay. So you got the scores? Let's see the reveal. JOK graded out at 93.6. Wow. The highest game of his career. The second Ooh. highest linebacker grade for him. of That's any That's basically player. 100. I mean. <laughs> You're right. Uh, hey, On their curve, yeah. it's almost a perfect hey, game. Yeah, I mean. Hey, and I was just watching. I said, oh, he's the only one making plays today. Yeah, he yeah, was. Like a pro bowl. Yeah, he he's the only he one fantastic. making plays. That's he why I'm saying, hey, 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 man, DeQuell, hey, DeQuell, man, you've been I doing. I don't know because I haven't seen the other one. I'm not paying this close attention, but no, I don't. You don't think Shout so? out no. to DeQuell Jackson, man. You know, I, DeQuell I, motivated I, him. No, I, De De DeQuell De is behind the scenes working with him. He might be <laughs> having him on the jugs. He behind. Know. Yeah, listen, give him another raise too, Cleveland. He I see great. you. How did what? What's wacky about JOK is in his first two years, and he wasn't bad as a rookie, but he wasn't this good. He seemed to have no instincts at all. And now he seems to well, have all that, the instincts. Isn't that what DeQuell said, though? DeQuell said he's thinking he's playing yeah. with this yeah. instead of Not this. Not anymore. Yeah. He was the Butkus winner. I mean, coming out of Notre Dame, he, he was highly thought of. I think he did. Oh, I think God. he was a finalist. I don't think he won. Uh, I'll maybe double he check. did. I'll double check. Well, I, <laughs> even if I he was, thought he was the Butkus Even winner. if he was a finalist, it's yeah, the kids who were really good. Yeah, he was best. When you watch him, he don't even – he's so fast. Oh, he did win it. I thought he, he did. Yeah, I thought he. That he listen, he's, he's so fast. He don't even have to, to to engage blockers. I saw him run around somebody and get skinny like this, and then tackle somebody. Well, G. Bush, you're in luck because guess we on Coach Tyvis on Friday, breaking down JOK and how he did exactly what you just said. Got skinny and avoided a couple blocks to make some plays in the back. <laughs> let me ask Tyvis a question. <laughs> Tyvis. Can I know a, a couple defensive things. coordinator change a couple things. have that kind of impact on a player? Yes. You make it, it you make the game very simple for them. And that's what they've done. They, they, and is, that's what DeQuil said is, he was doing I wrong. Was to, yeah, that's this true. To me, I, this game is about reading read your react. keys. Is read your keys. Your keys don't lie. So for me as a safety, I would look at the tight end. I have man to man on the tight end. If that's if that tight end blocks down for one second, go right now. It ain't no you good. If he releases, then you got to pass. Like, you know what it is. If your keys will never lie to you, and I think it's to the point where Jim Schwartz was like, Jay, okay, this is what you look. You look at this dude right here. He's going to tell you everything you need to know. If you're wrong, I don't care. Just go as hard as you can. And so far, he's been right. He looks, he sees the block, he gone. It's not, it's not a, even I a thought. That's, that's a great analogy. And what it tells me is we've got an offensive line coach that does the same thing. Dewan Jones, remember, came in. No one thought he was ready. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's turned this chunk of clay into a baller. Same thing on defense. JOK was good. He was better his first year. Yeah. And then we saw this huge regression it was where, a lot of where DeQuell, who knows <coughs> as well as anyone, said he would release him. It, it was then a... you get a new coordinator come in, and I don't I'm not saying he's playing at a Pro Bowl level. He looked like a Pro Bowler Sunday. Yeah. Hey, they are, they, they it, are one linebacker away. If they are one impact linebacker away so on they, the other side from them truly being so they like San Francisco's defense. Oh, it, it, so they should get Shaq Leonard. And what? again, and again, you have teams Probably. like Philly that all, why Philly always signs these Probably. guys. They like, do. Why, yeah, why they are the do. Browns not looking at Shaq You're Leonard? right about Philly. Philly always They always those grab guys. these San guys. San Francisco do too. Look what they did in the draft. They were already defensive line rich. They went out and got the best defensive yeah. lineman available. After they got and, Jordan Davis. It was like, we yeah. your teammate. And he failed to like 
I don't know. I'm laughing at 10 or something. 10. I'm like, this dude Although, was projected first pick, like, for oh, the no, whole oddly, year. Yeah. Oddly, the Eagles' defense hasn't been as good this year, but. And, and, I think they're playing <clears throat> bored. They can't cover. I think they're playing bored. You think they're bored? I, well, they're not going to be bored this week because no, they're, they're playing San Francisco. But the reason and it's I say beef. Is because I watched Sunday's game, and they were sleepwalking through the first half. Mm. And it looked like they were going to take the L. And then all of a sudden, That's when push came to shove, I guess the Buffalo team is pretty good. Yeah. They just. Clicked it in, yeah. and they looked great in fourth quarter and overtime. Well, All right, let's get to our next PFF grade. Let's do DTR. Okay. What would you grade DTR for his performance against the Denver Broncos? Me personally. You personally, and we'll see who's closest to, who, to what PFF actually graded out the rookie quarterback. A 41 for Jay, a 71.8 for G, a 47.5 for Tyvis, and Bull with a 61.5. Someone's pretty damn close. One of you four is pretty damn close. The actual answer, according to PFF, in terms of their grading system, was a 58.2. Bull is the closest. Wow. All right. With well, this one. point. Yeah. I gave him a 71. I thought he was we decent. Funny. Because they dropped, they, dropped, they dropped the football on him a couple I times. I thought he was decent. Yeah, they and definitely dropped yeah. the ball. <clears throat> That's true. He did have a lot of drops. And, 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 if, and, and some of those, if you catch them, there's a couple of them, like the one the one he fit into a crazy window with David and Joe. Oh, that was a brilliant throw. If he catches that and run, he has run after the catch on that one. He yeah. had a ton of room to yeah. run. Yeah, but he threw it down, right? He had yeah. to go down to get the ball, and it took him off his stride. Yeah, yeah. It, and uh, he, he would have kept he would have <coughs> for a long time. He threw the touchdown pass. Yeah, I thought he did a good job of putting some air on the touchdown pass. The linebacker got his hands in real at like the last he, second he to knock the ball. He gotta have it. But he's gotta have it, right? He gotta, yeah. Have it. Yeah. gotta have it. I thought they next they, Mike. Know. Next up is Cedric Tillman. The rookie made his first legitimate appearance for the Browns this season. Couple catches, fifty five uh, yards. How would you grade the rookie? Quite a seventy two. Tyvis a seventy nine point eight. Jay went seventy two. Bowling G are well. still giving you the answer. Uh, a fifty six point nine for curve, G and Bull is at an eighty one, an eighty one point three. One of you guys is going to be the closest. I'm doing the mental math. And we have a new winner here. Jay Crawford's the closest. He graded out at a 68.2. Mm-hmm. And his pass blocking grade. That's solid. I'm not sure if he pass blocked in any plays, but he had 21.9 pass blocking four, grade. Which he had five targets it down a little four bit. catches. Ooh. I mean, yeah. Ooh. I graded him on a curve. I, I, because I've seen so little, I probably – Elevated it a little right, bit more. Yeah, this is why PFF based did on, to me. Based on what him, t- Cedric Tillman, I'm ready to say that uh, David Bell is not good. He's, yeah, he's, we can punt on David we, Bell. We, he, he's now the new Anthony Schwartz. It's yeah, time yeah, for him no, to get up right. out of here. Bell, we Bell's a on David Bell. shot. Tillman, now you have hope. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now you right. have hope. For, far from a sure thing. You're right. But, but Tillman just least, looks, he looks the part to yeah. me. Yeah, David. Sorry. He, 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 made, got, he made his – David Bell has not had a game in two in a year and a half. Clean scratches, too. Obviously, Schwartz did no, not he played at all. This game. Healthy no, scratch. No, but he's been a healthy scratch. Oh, really? I think one time – was yeah. it last year or this year? He I wasn't remember. no healthy – I got – I'm on the dang been. thing. Who, he been Who in, David Bell? He been David Bell no, I think Tillman was earlier in the year. Tillman was a, he was a healthy scratch. This Tillman year. was. What about I don't think Bell year? was. I don't remember I, last I, I year. Like Bell I probably remember was remember last Bell year. Yeah. Being a it, it don't even matter. His production is a healthy scratch. You know what? That's the new gentleman's punch. Yeah, it is. The zero box score and then the DNP. Wait a minute. Listen, y'all going to stop it. This is why we ain't going to get no Browns players to come on this show if y'all going to continuously talk about them like this. What you mean? Are you kidding? We compliment plenty of guys. I just just say he didn't got the production. Titus, how many many guys have been getting on the show so far? None. The Browns. David Bell is not like they're lining up at our door to come talk about the Browns friendly show. We'll see. We'll see about that. <laughs> you supposed to be getting the players. It's your job to lie to them. Listen, Browns haven't, Browns Browns haven't helped us season. get any players. No. I don't no, bother no. players in season. I will tell you this. Every Browns player we've had on, I said they'll come back. We've had Greg on three times now, and every yeah. time he comes on, he's just we, as much yeah, as I Greg, have doing I give it, so. it to him. Greg got tough skin. Bull asked him some crazy questions <laughs> the last time he was here. <laughs> Heard you was in the club, dog. <laughs> <laughs> he did. I'm like, dang, dude. 
Lord. This is after he got his whip took. I was like, dang, Bull, <laughs> Bull ain't playing with nobody. Yep. I said, he's a journalist. I got David deep sources on that one. Has David Bell been on the injury report? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't think yet David Bell's been on the injury report. Then he's been a healthy scratch two games this year. David okay. Bell. <laughs> well, the game log says he's only played nine games. I don't remember him being hurt and no. missing time with an injury. So. No. My educated guess. I he has actually don't know nine targets in like. nine games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't pick him out. No, for real. If like he walked by the street, I wouldn't he know. He wears black spot, black cleats. <laughs> right. I would, wasn't he at the town hall thing? Yeah, he was at. That, that, that's a miss I, on us. I he was at know. Feed the Need, and we just didn't even know he was. If there. We didn't even notice him. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> listen, McNuggets is right. We were going around asking the players that were there, and McNuggets texted me at later in the day. He must have saw a picture on social media, and he goes. Yo, you know David Bell was there and we didn't even notice him? <laughs> he walked past us 25 him, times. Him and P.J. So Walker is the yeah. same I wish person. I we would have. I would have interviewed him. <laughs> I would have too. Person. It's the same cat. By the way, like 10 years ago, the name of the wide receiver is not coming to me. It was, it was a, Browns had this little tiny wide receiver. Corey Coleman. No, nah, it wasn't a high draft pick. He might have been an undrafted free agent. But he was a little guy. And one time he came into the studio. Shane and Wynn. I didn't. we didn't know he was going to be there. I thought he was an intern. And I thought it was some high school kid. Shane <laughs> Wynn. No, I know the name of somebody. I feel like G will get it out of Cedric it. Steptoe. Somebody, no, somebody from like 20, good, good probably 2013, 2014. Wow. Someone around Ooh, there. Ooh, they had a couple of them. He was playing with uh, Josh Gordon. Uh, I, a little tiny guy. The name's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't It wasn't Hawkins because you know Hawkins. No, no, yeah, I know no. Hawkins. Yeah. Hawkins White guy? No, well, black let's guy. Do, let, let's do the next one and see if yeah. it comes to your bowl. So if it comes to How about Miles Garrett playing with a hurt shoulder for part of the game? What would you grade Miles Garrett for his performance against Denver? Yeah, I ain't seen much, man. I did not there, man. I thought the Broncos did a wonderful job scheming him. A 79 We're all pretty for close Jay, so far. a 77, yeah. an Ooh. 80, and a 69. You guys are all off on this one. I'm just telling you. Really? G's going to be the closest. Miles graded out at a 58.4. Ooh, yeah, Garrett Bowles, by game, the way, but... the left tackle for the Denver Broncos, had his best highest graded game of the season. What was that? How would he go? A 77. By the way, who wanted to trade for him, Mike? You did. Uh, one Adam the Bull. Well, what's funny is, I, mean, I remember the conversation. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Bull was saying, they're out of it. Their season's over. Well, go get them. It's true. Right. And then he I was, was wrong like, about that yeah, part. And then, man, <laughs> well, he would have looked good in this offense. That man. Travis Benjamin. <laughs> Oh, yes, I think it was. Let me see his picture. You got a picture? Yeah, dreads. I think. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Locks. It was not Travis Benjamin. Was it, no. Was it Devon Bess? No, Devon Bess. Oh, we know who that is. <laughs> Devon hey, Bess like lost his mind, right? Uh, was it Josh Cooper? No, not Josh Cooper. You're talking about Gabe something. I know you're talking no, about. No, it wasn't Gay. Taylor Gabriel. No. That is a little guy. I well, don't we, know. We've had him, haven't we? <laughs> oh, Boy. God, yes. We've had him. We'll figure it out eventually. Hey, Go ahead, Mike. Why next. can't this organization figure that position out? <laughs> it's just, it's I'm brutal. Trying, I got to know now. It's brutal. It's not like it's the second or third most important position I, in the sport. I, I mean, we have not had If If anything. Pot had been legal 10 years earlier, we would have had him. We would have had him, Josh Gordon. <laughs> 